With your connection to local agriculture, I'm Joanna Guza. Wisconsin ranks number one for ginseng production. Ginseng has a unique growing process where it takes three to five years to grow, and it must be grown on virgin soil or soil that has never had ginseng planted in it. I talked with the 76 Allison Dairyland Ashley Hagenow, and she shares more about the harvesting process of the specialty root crop ginseng. So the harvesting process is in line with many other commodities here in Wisconsin. We start to see a lot of ginseng be harvested towards the later part of summer into the latter days of August as well as September, October is where we see a lot of our ginseng harvested. And ginseng is mainly harvested by hand. Since it is a smaller industry for Wisconsin, we harvest it by hand. And then some ginseng growers might have technology like, say, conveyor belts, that once that ginseng is brought in from the field, you might put it through a conveyor belt system to remove any dirt, debris, and stones. And then you're left with just the root, where we then clean the root and we dry it oftentimes to complete that harvest process. It's very fascinating. It's labor intensive as well, but you know that you are getting the highest quality crop when it comes to Wisconsin ginseng. Right. That's what I was going to say. Well, why doesn't everyone do it? But it's probably because it is a lot of work to be doing it. One item, and were you at a ginseng facility? I was. Back in October, I had the chance to tour Sue's Ginseng Enterprises. They're located in the Wausau area. Okay. Can you tell me, like, you mentioned the foliage on the top. What did that look like? Was it similar to, like, rhubarb or a zucchini plant? What did that green look like up on top? Great question. So I was coming to the ginseng farm at a time when harvest was just wrapping up and they were getting ready to winterize quite a few machines and fields. So ginseng, to me, the top part of the plant looks like the top of different trees and foliage that you might find. And in the ginseng field that I had a chance to go look at, some of the leaves were starting to turn orange and yellow, and there were still a few green leaves as well. But it's it, it's a very unique looking plant and you have just smaller leaves and I didn't get a chance to see the berries as we were past that point in the season but I'll have to show you some images too because it's a very fascinating plant and you can pick out ginseng oftentimes because of the shade cloth that is a great identifier for where ginseng is growing because of the shade cloth I would say it's kind of hard to me at least to pick out exactly what a ginseng plant would look like if it was just growing amongst other foliage. And that's your connection to local agriculture. I'm Joanna Guza.